Okay, we're in Oakham now, and this is the Route 122A crossing. Over there you can see the bike path of the right-of-way coming in, and uh, it actually comes parallel with the road, and then crosses right here. It doesn't cross at the same uh, design angle that the uh, railroad did. The railroad would have gone right straight across here. And that's looking towards the Colbrook Springs station, which would have been in the village of Colbrook Springs, here in Oakham. And uh, that's looking back towards West Rutland. So this is the 122A crossing. Uh, let's see what other little features they got here. Okay, we're here at Colbrook Springs. Now John's going to read this historical plaque to you. On December 12, 1887, the first train traveled to Colebrook Springs on the newly completed Central Massachusetts branch of the Boston and Maine Railroad. Each day, Monday through Saturday, for the next 25 years, trains made four round trips between Boston and Northampton, with one train operating on Sundays. For several years, the U.S. Mail Service used this depot as the drop-off point for mail going to both Colebrook and Oakham Center. The building to the far left, with an attached loading dock, was used for storage. The large tank to the right of the depot provided the water necessary to generate the steam that powered the locomotives. With two large hotels and the famous Mineral Springs close by, the station did a bustling passenger business for many years. One of the most famous commuters was Calvin Coolidge, who regularly traveled through Coldbrook Springs from his home in Northampton to his governor's office in Boston. In 1926, after the state took control of the Ware River watershed, the station was forced to close. Coldbrook Springs Station. As you heard John narrating from the historical plaque, trains ran through here for 25 years until the hurricane of 38 abandoned the line. Sad. But at least the rail trail's here to preserve the right of way. And onward we go to Barry. We are now at Barry Depot. This is Barry Depot Road in uh don't know if we're in Barry Plains or South Barry, but we're definitely not in Barry itself. That's still another two miles off. And this is pr approximately where the tracks crossed over and where Barry Station was located. Also, the Barry uh, Station on the Ware River line was close by here. Not quite sure where, but uh, it was close by and somewhere off in that direction as we look towards uh, uh, Barry Plains and South Barry is where the Barry Junction would have been. So we've made it to Barry. We're finally in Barry, Massachusetts. And uh, right here, Barry Depot. Okay, this is approximately where Barry Junction was after passenger service was eliminated in 1932 the Boston and Maine created a junction here with the uh, Ware River and there's the Ware River track the current Mass Central which ends right here right up by that pine tree and this is where the uh, Central Mass joined with the uh, Ware River and after it was abandoned in 1938, after the hurricane, uh, they cut out all freight service between Wheelwright and Oakdale, and Wheelwright became the uh, the northern, uh, the eastern terminus. So uh, we're looking at this little paved road here, which I suppose was paved afterwards. Uh, we we believe that the Ware River line there is on the left and the Mass Central was on the right. And we turn here, looking towards South Barry Station. Again, you can see that the Mass Central is on the left-hand side now, and the Ware River Line is on the right-hand side. And right up there by those buildings is where the uh, Mass Central, um, the current Mass Central, uh, switches off to go into the mills at South Barry.
and this is as far as the line goes. So, and we have these little switching, we have these little posts here warning that there's a flagged crossing right here, a railroad crossing that has to be flagged. So this is Barry Junction and South Barry right down there. And our next stop is Barry Plains. Okay, we're here in Barry Plains and in this thicket right here used to be a little gully down there and that's where the Barry Plains station was as the railroad track would have passed under Route 67 there and would have uh, probably also passed underneath here and would have went right over there and that this little road was probably an access road to the uh, train station or maybe a spur track or something but this is where the uh, railroad track went across right there so this right here is the approximate uh, vicinity of the Barry Plains station on the central mass still here in the town of Barry just outside Barry Plains and this is the right-of-way coming through a gravel pit area and there's the right-of-way looking back towards the Barry Plains station and then if I uh, pan around to the other way here we go as you see it heading out towards Wheelwright and the airport that way so uh, this is the central mass Right through Barry, heading towards Wheelwright. We are at the Tanner Hiller Airport in the small town of New Braintree, Massachusetts. This is a uh, little airport here where planes come and go to test their uh, test their landing gear. And right here is the runway, and this is where the Central Mass came across right here in these woods. And so that's looking back towards Barry Plains, where we uh, were before. And uh, then the tracks came right through here and they built this airport right on top of the old right-of-way. So if the trains were still running here, I, <laughs> I don't know if they would actually have an airport here, or if they did, they'd probably have a little station for, <laughs> for the airport. So. But this is uh, the airport in New Braintree, and this is uh, this is where the Central Mass Railroad came right through. And over there is a bridge that took you over into Wheelwright to the uh, mills and through the little village of Wheelwright, and that will be our next stop. Okay, we're back here at the airport, and that's looking back towards uh, Barry Plains. If the zoom would come out right. You see, there's the right of way for the central mass coming in, and as you see, uh, the tracks would have came right on to the runway of this airport, which was put in after the line was abandoned, and that's looking back towards Wheelwright. And so it's getting a little foggy today. And as you see today, the day we choose to film here, it's got a little snow showers going. Today is the first day of winter. So um, again, from the Tanner Airport here in New Braintree, we are on the tarmac, which is on top of the right-of-way of the old Central Mass. And we're looking towards Wheelwright.